like Mr. Motivator, only not really like him. I'm Craig Charles, and I know you're happy to hear that. That's right, folks, it's the game show where the contestants discover their only regret in life is that they're not someone else. If it sounds painful, that's because it is. You've got to admit it's amusing. So prepare to feel the pinch and wince, because coming up, we're satisfying our appetite in Bite the Bum. We're making little headway in Monaco Maze. We're asking ourselves some serious questions on the bridge over the River Wye in Bridge Bowl. <laughs> Tune in, turn on, and fall off. It's Sakeshi's Castle. Ooh. Oh. General Lee, the man's man and lady's favourite, and he's even kind to animals, looks up and down his 100 daunted and dismayed dab hands. They were all desperate to get through the demanding trap designed by the demonically minded Count Takeshi. Winners are rare, but so is my stake. General, stop planning around! Well, let's get into Bite the Bun. Silly game. 100 contestants, 88 buns. If you get a bun, down your neck. You're through. If you don't, you're out. Impeded by these rubber rings. Or is it traditional Japanese attire? Get it? Shoot me in the head. I love the way the director throws in a little bit of slow mo here. Lovely music. <laughs> Look at them. It's like bobbing for apples, Japanese style. Go on, lad, you can do it. Is that a bun? A bat? Or a bagel? No matter what it is, the bread's in the air and they've got to get it in their mouths to get through. Using a bit of teamwork there. Oh, he bit my nose! You can't do that, it's not in the rules! 88 buns, 100 contestants. 12 lucky people are getting back on the bus. Going back to the warm, safe confines of their hospital. Final few buns remaining. The ground is turning into a quagmire. Of course, all this sludge and slurry, specially brought in from a pig farm in southern Japan. No truffles in that, though, I'll tell you. The curtain comes down early for many of our contestants. Probably a good thing, but this is my ridiculous replay. This cocky character certainly knows how to create a skid mark or two. Yay! 88, ate their way into the honeycomb maze of the blind river game. Largely because the contestants can't really see where they're going. Oh, she tries to cling on, but she's dropped out. Come on. No. Oh! Gotta avoid the guards, get to the other side, get onto dry land. If you end up in the water, of course. It's Sayonara. The black-hearted, black-handed guards doing their bit. I bet she's never been picked up like that before. She's out the game. All over it. See for everything. Hey, <laughs> fell before the first hurdle. <laughs> oh, and what a dive! He loved that! Look at him go! What a lad! He brought his comedy teeth along with him, and now he's taking them home. Oh, she did well, but they caught her right at the last! That is not fair! Unfortunate, unlucky girl! Oh, never mind. She goes crawling on her hands and knees, searching for her dignity as she goes. Hiding! Attacking! 
guys going around in circles, hiding behind the door. Not a great style, terrible technique. Can he get on though? Oh, he's surprising this guard. He's no wrong door. He's doing well, this lad. Oh, yes, excellent. Excellent. Had them running around in circles, chasing shadows. He was like the Scarlet Pimpernel. From the Scarlet Pimpernel to Stan Laurel at the game. Boing! And he's out. He's all over the camera as well. Look at him go. Look at the camera splash. He's got his baseball gear on. Baseball, big game in Japan. Very popular. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Bing! You're out, mate. My ridiculous replay. Looks like this infused individual got his sports confused. He thought it was Olympic diving. 76 go through though. Let's have a go at skipping stones. Hope all medical bills are up to date here. This is the ultimate shin shredder. Good recovery. Oh dear. Ends up doing the backstroke though. Didn't break his back though. I suppose that's some kind of bonus. Some of the stones move, some of them don't. Oh! The ones that don't really hurt when you smack into them with your face. Uh, he's happy enough. Oh, good recovery, is it? Yes, he's still going. Oh, not anymore, he's not. You're out of the game, mate. You're going home. Some kind of superhero. Oh, dear, and she'd have to be to take that kind of punishment and come back for more. Great recovery there. Oh, so much now, though. You're gone, mate. He was willing to continue. Oh, speed! You ribs, please. This chap put the spare in ribs. Look at that. Ow! Oh, dear. He came wearing pink. He'll go home wearing pink as well. I don't know who I felt sorry for the most there, him or the stones. They were certainly rolling stones by the time he finished with them. Doesn't look hurt though. He can thank his lucky stars for that. Oh, great performance! Great recovery! Great job! That's the lad! He's through, but he'll need to sort that walk out if he's to be successful in the later stages. Check out this contestant for my ridiculous replay, though. Very happy, very camp. Pink suits, yet regal. 61 remaining crazy campaigners. They all look really happy. Maybe it's because they are. They've made it into part two, where we're playing bridge ball and catch it. And remember, kids, as my old dad said, if you can't do the time, then don't do the crime. Welcome back. Groundhog Day just got a whole lot worse. Let's return to the action, but first, a word from the dynamic duo, Batman and Robin. I think he was talking about how to build his muscles. This is bridge ball. This is not about how to build a bridge, though. You gotta keep your balance, catch the golden ball, get to the side, avoiding the highly accurate cannon fire from the Emerald Guard. And when I say highly accurate, I mean highly accurate. Look at that, right in the love spuds. Oh, he's taking a pounding to the happy sacks. He's gone. Safety at last, he's probably thinking. Another strange walk. Oh, that was pathetic! He lost his balance before a shot was fired! Yo, Wazik! Oh dear! 
<laughs> yes, you can have an ice cream now. <laughs> yeah, he's happy about that. The bridge not even looking as wobbly as it has done in previous episodes. And yet they're finding it a struggle. Keeping their balance, traversing the bridge, catching the ball. Everything's difficult today. Oh, she's cannon fodder now, surely. The guards not as accurate as they have been either. It's all going a bit pants since you got that one in the tummy. Oh, good fire now, though. Oh, that one had a... golden ball. It's like an episode of Harry Potter. She's got the golden snitch. Oh, right! Right on the head! Oh, doesn't look better third time round. Yeah, she's got a ring in her ears. She should have turned the phone off. Give me the ball. I go over the bridge. Oh dear. He's going for the speed option. He's doing well though. Speed doesn't generally work, but for that lad it did. He had foxed them there. They couldn't load fast enough. Yes. Uh, Oh, come on, turning his back. Oh, he's going to lose the balance. He's out the game. Relieved, really. Catches the golden ball. Can he avoid the cannon fire? Can he keep his balance? Oh! He's still in the game though, clinging on for dear life. Drops the golden ball, recovers his position, but he's going to have to go back and get another ball. No good getting to the side, unless he comes bearing gifts. Look at that one though, off the top of the red helmet. Now he's hanging on again, making his way back. Showing a fair bit of strength, the lad. Fair bit of determination. Well held. Wasn't in the best position to catch that ball, but it was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If this lad goes through, he'll deserve it. He's down again. The balls don't seem to be affecting him. Oh, he made it! Brilliant! Victory sweep, but this has got to be the ridiculous replay. This lucky lady in red shouldn't have got out of bed. Four bat and bruised ballers have made it through though to catch it. Not an easy game. Simple, you've got to catch it. Easy to say, not so easy to do. Oh, yes, he got that ball. He knocks it really high as well. Yeah, yeah, I caught it, I caught it. It's mine, it's mine. Oh, yes. He's happy. Good hit. Good catch. 31, the Tigers. Nice catch. Nice catch. Kicking his feet like a good in there. Oh, they all take a tumble there. Did anyone get the ball though? Oh, well said, sir. Oh, someone caught that on the head, I think. 
Look at the height he gets with those baseballs. Crashing <laughs> punters trying to catch it. It's not easy. <laughs> no one in that last round goes through. No wonder they're smiling. Got to get another look at this for my ridiculous replay. The ball's coming down with snow on it. But I don't see the catch. I'm sure she cheated. Anyway, she's through, along with 22 others, as they dance to the dominoes. Got to get across the dominoes without biting the dust. Not easy. You're gone. You need wings for this, mate. Go like a jet. Oh dear. He's no longer on the run. You have to move. In harmony with the dominoes, a bit like that, but not quite there, was she? Hank Marvin's left his guitar at home, but he can play dominoes. That's for goddamn sure, buddy. Oh, yes. Good the way he kept going there. Corrected his balance halfway through. Oh, that was pathetic. I'm not wasting my breath on you. You're going to need more than prayers, lad. Oh, I told you. Sometimes it tests your faith. <laughs> No, you're still out. <laughs> you wazzy. <laughs> Superstars. I remember that. Kevin Keegan, Brian Jacks. There's a bit of the Japanese version of Superstars, actually. Oh, dear. New balls, please. How demoralizing. Felled at the last. I think I've tripped the family planners in order here. He's got to be our ridiculous replay. Hope his wife sees the amusing side. Only four go through, but first, it's our furious flashback. Ejected, dejected, and rejected. And they haven't made the cut. Ow. Makes you want to stay home, doesn't it? It's a dangerous world out there. We're out of the pipe and into the car park for the final showdown. Our brave band of four intrepid individuals. They look a little war weary, but it's all right. The general will give them a few final words of encouragement. We're off. Protect your ring from the water cannon. Emerald Guard. Highly accurate with these water cannon. Oh, there's one perforated already. He's gone. Only four, it makes it hard. Highly trained elite troops, the Emerald Guard. They do this for fun. They're all volunteers, of course, to get them out of the house. Oh dear, they're closing in. This is our last contestant left, is it? I view there. That's it. The Emerald Guard will once again raise their arms in victory. That castle has proven to be too much for our contestants again. No winners this time on Takeshi's castle. But join us again. You never know your luck. As my old dad used to say, it only started out as a boil on me bum. Sayonara.